It's Al Cole from CBS Radio, host of the syndicated talk show, People of Distinction, cluing you in that in our 21st century, I'll tell you, products and services are sold through video. <laughs> That's right. So sell it through video at Al Cole Enterprises and SAG 14 Production Company. You got it. And right now you got it too. enjoy another outstanding audio clip from our international guest list featuring my son, the fantastic Benji Cole on People of Distinction. And on the line with us today, we have Jane Bennett Monroe. We'll be discussing a culmination of her books, The Body on the Lido Deck, followed by A Deadly Homecoming, and then lastly, The Twelve Murders of Christmas. So for those of you that weren't here, we actually, this is the second part in a two-part interview that we had with Jane. The first part, we discussed the first four books in the series. So that's seven books in totality. You have to head on over to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or janebennettmonroe.com to acquire all the copies. And I will say, Jane was brought to People of Distinction today by some of the best movers in the business, Lit Prime Publishing. So if you have a book that you'd like moved, move it through Lit Prime. You can find them at litprime.com. And guys, as I stated, this is the second part in the two-part series. We have so much to cover. So without further ado, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right in and let's hear what Jane has to say. The Body on the Lido Deck. Tell us a little bit about it. Okay, well, The Body on the Lido Deck is the fifth book in the series. Um, and this it takes place on a luxurious cruise ship in the Caribbean where Tony and her husband and her parents her mother and stepfather, are on a Caribbean cruise to celebrate her mother's retirement. And they've had a really good time until about the, oh, let's see, I think there may be three days left in the cruise when Tony is awakened early in the morning by a horrific scream. And, you know, it's one of those heart-pounding things. Mm -hmm. And after several unsuccessful attempts to get back to sleep, she decides to go up to the Lido deck. She goes to look and see what it is, and... The rest of the body falls on the deck right next to her, splattering her with blood. I had a friend that started to read this book, and when she got to that part, she put it away and didn't go back to it for another six months. So sometimes (laughs) my books tend to be a little bit gory. So there's kind of a time squeeze here because there's only two more days, three more days, two more days before the ship docks at Fort Lauderdale, and everybody has to get off. The crew gets off. They do a deep cleaning and get everything ready for the next cruise. And then a whole bunch of other people get on board. A new crew gets on board, and the evidence sails away. Moving on to Deadly Homecoming, this one's a little different. Her mother calls her and says, I need you to come down and help me figure something out. So it turns out that uh, her mother's best friend, Doris, was recently married to a guy named Dick. And they moved into this house, which Doris swears is haunted, and Dick has disappeared. And so Tony's mother, Fiona, asks her to come down, her and her husband Hal to come down and see if they can't figure out what's going on. And this this is kind of the idea that I had for this was, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Lady Bluebeard, Idaho's Lady Bluebeard. I have not, no. There was a lady, lady named Lida Southard that poisoned six husbands and one of her kids and uh, a relative of one of her husbands by soaking flypapers. Back in the day, it was like back in the very early 1900s um, when flypapers had arsenic on them. So anyway, they they were poisoned for their insurance. So anyway, she does solve the mystery, and I'm not going to go into detail as to what it's all about, but it's kind of spooky and creepy. The last book is called The Twelve Murders of Christmas simply because I thought it would be fun to turn a Christmas carol into a murder mystery. So what happens is Tony begins receiving grisly Christmas cards depicting murders, each accompanied by a twisted verse from the 12 days of Christmas. And then her, she and her partners become inundated with autopsies of people that were killed in the way that was depicted on the Christmas card. So Tony figures, you know, if we don't figure out where these are coming from, 10 more people are going to die. But she partnered up with Nigel, and uh, they finally managed to solve it. It's Al Cole from CBS Radio, host of the syndicated talk show, People of Distinction, cluing you in that in our 21st century, I'll tell you, products and services are sold through video. <laughs> That's right. So sell it through video at Al Cole Enterprises and 
SAG 14 production company. You got it and look forward to enjoying other outstanding audio clips from our international guest list featuring my son, the fantastic Benji Cole on People of Distinction.